Okay, oh, there you go. There you I, go. Okay. Hey, oh. This is the first time uh, we're both watching our respective teams at the same time. Not in the same game. Yep. So All right. Well, a lot of production, you, like you said, a lot of production lot value that we have two different TVs going. And uh, we got a bunch of screens going on. Is this, are you at the, is this Paris? Uh, well, Gene, uh, let me just say the show uh, first. This is the uh, Midwest Sports You have show. some explaining to And do uh, my okay. name is uh, Chris Stotts, Hello. and uh, we got Gene Steichen. I got the W for fly, the W flag, for hopefully for the Cubbies. And may I say, oh, I, a week ago today, I was in Chicago where the Cubs won their opener 10 nothing. And it was 70 degrees in Chicago, and yesterday they got snowed out. Yeah. There never, you go. Yeah, well. And that will come back to bite them. Because remember last year, at the end of the season, they had to play 40 straight games because uh, all the bad weather. Milwaukee doesn't have to deal with that because they, they have a roof. Yeah, the weather is all fine. Everything yeah, is o a okay. okay. a okay. All right. Well, Gene, uh, well, you were in Chicago last week. I was. I was in Iowa. I flew to Chicago, went back to Iowa, then went back to Chicago. Yeah. Because of the, uh, you know, generous donations of our Patreon supporters. Oh, right. Uh, we are in uh, Paris, oh France. Oh, my gosh. You're at the computer. Outside of uh, Notre Dame to oh uh, pay homage to uh, one of Gene's favorite teams, the Fighting Irish. I actually went to a game. I went to South Bend probably three years ago. It was a great atmosphere. But that's sad what's going on in, in Paris. How can you... What's, Gene, what do you mean? What's going on? Oh, well, I, why would you... Gene, we're, 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 we're right outside Notre Dame. What do you mean? Uh, everything's fine. Mm, the weather's beautiful, even yeah. though it's uh, nighttime in France. Mm, yeah, not I, I don't know, Gene. I haven't been on Twitter all day. Right. So uh, what, what's going on? Well, you know, you're kind of an evil person. Yellow <laughs> hits a home run while you're talking. A three, like a three-run home run. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. You're a guy right. Well, Gene, I only kid because I don't think anyone died. We, I, it seems like no one died. Well, a lot of our history was lost. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Well, Gene, have you seen, uh, speaking of uh, being on Twitter, the latest pictures on Twitter? Mm -hmm. I guess, like, most of the inside is actually, like, not, like, destroyed. Oh, that's good. No, I haven't. So, uh, so there's, yeah, maybe. I hope hey, that. There is a God, I guess, right? Okay, that's great. Do you think maybe the area is blessed? Maybe? Yeah, is could that be. possible? Well, speaking of God, I went to church last week. I'm oh, there you go. It's not even Easter. I, I no, I went with my mom. So. Well, Gene, well, well, oh, and I told the priest the day before the Cubs game. He's a Cubs fan, and I told him the Cubs are going to win tomorrow. I'll, I'll <laughs> guarantee it in the house of God. Yeah, he's like, that's one thing I do not believe in. Yeah, I. All right, well, Gene, <laughs> uh, before we get that, we're going to go to the Church of Baseball and change up the scenery because, oh, uh, yeah, man, you're right, a little bit insensitive. You. That is. They have Notre Dame. Uh, and but we're gonna go back to uh, Ebbets Field. Wow, Ebbets Field. Gene. That's in uh, New York, in Brooklyn, where uh, the Dodgers played at. Uh, that's where the Giants played, right? In the, no, the Giants played the Polo Grounds. Oh, right? that's right. Yes, I so. yes. How could I? Of course they did. Yes. Yeah, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, Gene, uh, it is. Uh, we're there because oh, of it's Jackie uh, Robinson Day. Jackie Robinson Day. Oh, yes. Of course. Everyone's so happier wondering. times than uh, Notre Dame burning down. Uh, thanks for integration to Jackie Robinson and to all the play. That's great, Their Honor. Today's. Oh, that's good. Why would you start? Oh boy, you're mean to start with Notre Dame. This is a good. Well, one, Gina, though. that would be a fun topical joke. I don't think so. I think it's well, really G when it's still going on. That's the definition <laughs> of too soon. When the when the fires are still smoldering. Gina. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I don't know what you define Again. as too soon, uh, but that's too soon. I don't think anyone died. Although I'm gonna look like an idiot mm -hmm. if like uh, turns out like a school class. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got good Paris news for you. I don't. I saw – it's not very good news. Maybe it's already happened. Who knows? Oh, yeah. But I, I, I saw three musicals this week, and they were just so great. Was it The Hunchback of Notre Dame? I No, I saw King and I, which was set in a palace, kind of like the cathedral. And then I saw Singing in the Rain, which is great. Singing, so is that a new um, musical, fairly new? Yeah, I think so. By the way, the, the, guy, the when, movie Singing in the Rain, one of the best movies of all time. Yeah, it was great. Such and a great the guy, movie. And the guy who played Gene Kelly, he – the, when they did Singing in the Rain, the whole stage, it rained. And then he got buckets poured Dang, on. Dang. Oh, uh, so and great. And, the, they, and they dance? Yeah. In the rain? Is that, I was, that's I like, was like, please don't fall. And, yeah, they can't be safe, right? And I was in the first row, so. What's up with the insurance I policy on that stuff? Yeah. Huh? Yep. And then yesterday I saw, last night I saw Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, oh, which yeah. is Willy Wonka. 
And look at that. They're taking all these uh, movies and all these kids' books and just ch- churning them out into these uh, musicals. musicals. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because they did that. Oh, they do it with everything. Whatever happened in the old days with, uh, you know, Mississippi or whatever it was or <laughs> Oklahoma? That's still – I think that just came back somehow. Anyway, so that's been a great week. Yeah. I saw the Cubs win, and I, I got to see three musicals, and, and it was my mom's birthday too. So that was really cool. Oh, uh, That's great. So when did you uh, actually get back? Uh, to uh, yeah, Los Angeles last week, uh, okay. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you know what? I'm glad it, we're so lucky. It was nicer because it's no. I can't. Man, April's tough in the Midwest. I don't know. People in the Midwest. Yeah, good job surviving because yeah, it's almost. You don't have to be winter. there. You guys can move. So, so you all invited to come stay with us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Gene, we're gonna start uh, with another uh, April. You miracle. had to watch the Masters, then. Uh, I did. Uh, watch the Masters, and uh, we're going to start off with the Masters and uh, Tiger Woods. That uh, was pretty cool because so, I wasn't a – I mean, I liked him, and then he, he, he did so many bad things, and I was like, I don't know. He's not a good example for kids. But now I was happy again for him. Uh, you mean having four back surgeries and then uh, <laughs> winning when you're 43, not a good example? I, I would agree with that. <laughs> no. Uh, all this, all this misbehavior off the, t- off the green. Well, gee, I don't know. Gee, what's the point I of becoming the biggest athlete in the world, the yeah. most famous person in the world? If you, if you don't bang every girl, you uh, lay eyes on. Yeah, you know he had I mean? his, he had his newest side piece. Is that what they call it? What they yeah, he needs. Uh, the, well, geez, hold, now that he won the Masters again, I think it's time to upgrade, uh, yeah. Tiger. You don't Ooh. have to be dating chicks your own age. You know. Right. Right. You know, let's, let's go back to the twenty-year-olds, right? The hey, so you I, go back you, to the IHOP. You watched? So I forgot it started earlier because I missed well, a lot of so it. So that was the big thing this year because uh, there's going to be like a huge ass storm. Yeah. Which, by the way, brought uh, snow to the Midwest right. and all that stuff. So the Masters oh. uh, moved everything up way early, and uh, actually in uh, uh, at like four a.m. Right, Pacific right. time, like almost seven, I guess, yeah. uh, Eastern he, Standard Time. He needs to meet a girl named Marie. What is that from uh, Maria? Yeah. Is yeah. that from uh, West, West Side, Side Story? Story. Maria, hey. right? Yeah. Maria, Maria, my Maria. Piece, my favorite name, David. Uh, for I, I don't have any sons, but if I if I had a pet beagle, I'd name him David, and then Marie, and then if yeah. I had a cat, I'd name him Al. There you go. All right, there you go. Nice, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Apropos of nothing. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, uh, yeah. For reasons unknown, but uh, yeah, Gene. So uh, and then we got some uh, triplets. Uh, it, it, Pairings, not pairings, but triplet t- 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 triangles. Oh, oh. And uh, basically, it was Tiger Woods, uh, Molinari, who uh, won, I guess, uh, I, I, don't, I don't, can't remember, I, but he I won a big tournament. I pride myself in knowing these guys, kind of, and I didn't even know who Mo- – did you know who he was? Yeah, he's, he's, he won like a major uh, recently. I don't remember which one, oh, okay. uh, but he recently won a major, the one like the one last year. Mm-hmm. One of the ones That's last year. Good. And uh, 20 – Finu, who is this young, another one of these young buck phenoms, who's There's like 19, 20 years old right, or whatever. Right. So, uh, yeah, Tiger Woods. Uh, so, yeah, the, the match actually started at 6.20 Pacific Standard Time over here, and I actually wake up early, and I uh, pretty much watched Isn't that great? Uh, the whole thing. And I watched the online coverage oh, at first did. because, uh, yeah, so you can watch the featured coverage, and they're basically just following two groups, and you basically see every single oh, shot. Oh, that would so, be great. I'd do that. So you kind of yeah. see him do the shot, and you see him like walk over and everything. You're just kind of more connected to the uh, whole, uh, you know, individual experience. But you don't kind of see the bigger picture. And then, uh, like around, I don't know, maybe 10 a.m. over around here, like everyone else started getting in the mix, like yeah. uh, Brooks Capra and uh, some uh, Bubba Watson even made, like, a late charge and all that stuff, so I switched over back to the CBS coverage. Oh, he did, yeah. Uh, he but, yeah, Gene, then uh, what, what were you, did you watch it at all? Or I, what? I, you were at, I, you're I, at Cats No, I part watched – I, I watched – there was no wrestling on to compete with, but I did watch a lot over the weekend, kind of, a little bit. And then on Sunday, I caught up when I started watching uh, – You watched the WrestleMania tape, he, basically? No, but uh, I but full of mission. Oh, you I, mean athletic wrestling. Yeah, like when I started watching wrestling. – when I watched on Sunday, uh, it, it, Tiger was on the 14th hole. So okay. I, I must admit I missed some yeah, of it. And then uh, Molinari, uh, he made one bulky for the whole week. And then, uh, you know, in kind of in the middle of the match, I kind of got a little bit bored and then right. I because uh, it didn't look like anything was changing and Tiger didn't look uh, super, super sharp. He was just kind of hanging on. So I started playing some video games. 
And then all of a sudden I look over and Finu oh. and Molinari are like taking these drop shots uh, just outside the water. So I'm like, what, did both these guys drop into the water? And yes, indeed, it did Four happen. Four six guys, didn't they hit the water? Something like that, yeah. So uh, the nerves were really going there. And then uh, Molinari, I think, had another double bogey like later on uh, in the day. Mm. And uh, so these guys, and then, uh, you know, Tiger Woods made a couple opportune birdies. And uh, they basically gave it up. They gave it up to Tiger. And yeah. uh, here you got this guy is 43 years old, a bunch of back surgeries. Uh, he had a back nerve, surgeries. A nerve ending, like, removed or whatever because he couldn't even yeah. sit in a chair or something. Like, good God. Rehab. And uh, he, he beats all these young guys. I mean, Spieth was nowhere to be seen. I mean, Dustin Johnson couldn't What's hold on. Now? What about Ricky Fowler? Do you think he, he's, <laughs> he's so good, but he's never won a major? He's so. his, uh He's checking out all the chicks in the uh, oh in the audience gosh, before he's uh, looking for that. the no. slope. Were you worried on uh, the 18th hole that he had missed the two, that one that was really close to win it? It would be neat to see him, you know. Well, uh, he, he did bogey the last one, right? But yeah, he, he, knew, yeah. he only needed a five to win. Yeah. So. But uh, he went for par, and it went past the hole just a little bit, and you're like, oh, just don't yip it. Yeah, it's not. You know, those those some of those shots are not gimmies, especially yeah. when the holes are, like, on the edge. Yeah. Like there's definitely enough room cuz uh you know to uh to move on there. So. Yeah. Uh but Gene, I've said on the show many a times Tiger Woods is never going to win another Masters. Oh my and, gosh, uh, how could you say such a thing? Well, I uh saw some of his past performances right. and uh I made an educated this guess. This one came out of nowhere, didn't it? Didn't well, Yeah, I, mean, I I didn't think he'd be able to hold on. I mean, uh four rounds. I mean, yeah, he could do it for maybe uh three rounds, but four rounds and end up uh, alone in the victor circle. Right, right. Oh, the victor circle. Um, yeah. So definitely, I don't know, Gene. Is this probably one of the biggest sports moments of your life? Would uh, you say? Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Well, besides the no, Cubs winning, maybe no, that's probably number one. Wait, I okay it would make no because I'm not because I no, but it was really cool. Is this yeah. bigger than Jack Nichols? Nicholas no, winning in '86? Do you think? Yeah. Uh, no, because Tiger. Yeah, redemption. Well, Jack, Jack Nicholas wasn't uh, out of the game for two years <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. after all these women but come out of the woodworks. Yeah, that. slowly, no, it Tiger. Cool. Okay, I'll give him credit. Yeah, it's it was pre- really it, it is pretty amazing, Gene. Again, it was. It was. The fact that he's uh, uh, playing against 20, 20 year olds and twenty three yeah. year olds, it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Did you get? Uh, did you talk to Connor? Did he have any uh, thoughts yeah, on he this? Yeah, he was on Twitter. He's a huge Ricky Fowler fan. We though. should have. Um, it, we should have got Connor on the phone. Yeah. But he, that was good. Hey, it's a great story. But I, uh, if Iowa beats Rutgers on September seventh, when I'm there, that will be bigger than this yeah. one for me. So, yeah. All right. Well, Gene, that's but, uh, whatever. That's Hopefully, what, he's learned as he's been he's been humbled. So yeah. That's good why you're him. the uh, co-host of the Midwest okay, Sports Show, Gene. You you're always thinking, yeah. thinking ahead. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, we let's uh, let's move on to a little baseball. And uh, we're going to start with the Milwaukee swing through Southern California. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought about that, but not yesterday and not Saturday. Which but had Friday, some, I thought, I wonder if you're at the game. I should have. had some big ups and, ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, I did not go any of the games oh, okay. uh, this year, Gene. I should have probably, probably filed my taxes a little bit earlier to get that refund a little bit earlier, mm-hmm. but I was not uh, – you know, I'm one of those people that procrastinate. Well, there are a lot of brewer. I watched a little bit of it. Uh, the Brewers, Dodgers, not really. I didn't have the sound on. I wasn't really paying attention, but I think yeah, I think there's a good amount of uh, Brewers fans. But Brewers uh, are good. They're real. They, I, I see. Well, I, I get Brewers credit all the time. They got swept by the Angels, but each game was uh, fairly oh, competitive. Yeah. There was no uh, real uh, blowout game. Yeah, the best if thing I was you guys got Mike Trout hurt, and then he came <laughs> yeah, exactly. to Chicago, and we couldn't even like yeah, Tr- Tr- Mike Trout got hurt. And then he couldn't. And but we, now, and couldn't even now win a game like that. The Cubs have to play. They played them. They played the Angels after you did. We won, and then one of those games was uh, rained out, right? So how are they going to make that out. up? Snow. How's the, how are they going to make that I up? I don't know. That's the problem. I, I don't know. They, now playing? they lose an off day. Well, you're going to be playing four games in uh, L.A. That's very possible. And then the uh, Milwaukee Brewers come to uh, Los Angeles. And, uh, again, I, sh- I did not go to any of these games. One of my friends, they go to the Sunday game where the Brewers got blown out. Yeah, but one. the Brewers, um, I mean, it was a fairly competitive series, but I thought the Brewers were kind of in control the whole time. Uh, so it's it's hard to, you yeah. know. It's, it, it did seems the Brewers like, win twice? Yeah, two out of three. Oh, okay. And uh, it's hard to, it seems like a long-ass time ago, but uh, these two teams were playing in the NLCS. So it was oh, almost a bit of a right. revenge. 
Yeah. So uh, I think the Could Brewers. Could be again this year. And uh, Yazi Grandel, yeah. who was a former Dodger that. catcher. I saw that. Yep. He actually had a great series. I think he, uh, like, yeah, it was crazy. He had a couple home runs. Well, when he came to bat, for fours. he, he well, seemed to acknowledge the crowd. Then he yeah, they cheered. They, they gave him a standing ovation okay. on his first time at bat. But then uh, <laughs> on the second game, they were, like, booing him. So, okay, uh, well, there you go. I mean, and then uh, I guess the announcers were saying that people were calling him traitor. Uh, when they're uh, walking around Dodger Stadium, well, what do you want? Like, you want the guy just the tank, the suck because he's on another team? And I'll be like, oh yeah, the Dodger fans mean a lot to me, but I'm gonna f- screw up my batting average mm-hmm. so they can be. Uh, he do got better. run out of town pretty hard, pretty hard last year, right uh, during the playoffs. Yeah, they, it it got ugly. So yeah, anyway, he, he had a bad playoffs. So. Yeah, and the Cubs they won. Three. All right. Well, Gene, we can't go to the Cubs. Give us a Cubs update. Oh, okay. Gene, we have a special they, they uh, Cubs update first, section. They won their first series. They beat Pittsburgh two out of three, and they split with the Angels. So they're moving on up. They're now, uh, they're now. What's five. the live update right now? You Darvish is uh, pitching. Yeah, we're waiting for. I'm. I'm. I don't want to say anything bad, but it, it could go south on you Darvish same time. But the Cubs are up to five and nine. So. All right. Yeah. And uh, that, that's not their low point. Their low point was two and seven. Who are they? Oh, they're playing the Marlins right now. Yeah, Aren't the Marlins a little frisky? They're, no, they're terrible. Okay. <laughs> All right. They're awful. All you right. step up, you. Oh, please. Anyway, All uh, right. I we gotta keep pace with the Brewers because they're good. I'm, yep. I'm, yeah. Someone's got to. All right. And then Gene uh, again. It is uh, <clears throat> Jackie Joe Robinson Man's Day. Can I help him win the World Series, and then they're going to resign him? As we uh, speak, uh, as you re- hear this uh, the day after, no, it is not uh, Jackie Robinson Day, but uh, April fifteenth, Jackie oh. Robinson Day. Yeah. Uh, make sure you pay your taxes. Pay the man yeah, why on they Jackie Robinson the taxi? Day. I did it early. I do it early. Every well, I try to do it like a month ahead of time. Yep. Yep. I procrastinate. It's always my favorite well. time. <laughs> okay. All right, Gene. Uh, I don't mind. And, uh, well, Gene, uh, you know who's uh, celebrating Jackie Robinson Day? Budweiser. I did not know that. They're doing, uh, in fact, they have an ad uh, okay. honoring uh, Jackie Robinson. Sure. Uh, saying, uh, you know, enjoy a Budweiser on uh, J- in Re- Jackie Robinson's honor. Well, guess what, Gene? Oh, they. Jackie Robinson did not drink. Mm. Oh, he didn't? He did not drink. Oh. His wife says he did not drink. Huh. And uh, they have a uh, baseball, a two-tone baseball, Gene, I guess to uh, signify the uh, harmony of uh, white and black. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing that's a metaphor, Gene. Right. So uh, MLB tweeted this out earlier, but uh, after people were pretty much uh, mocking this thing, uh, they they, they deleted the tweet. Wow. They deleted the tweet. So do we, I mean, listen, I understand you have a deal with the, uh, the league for the beer sales and all that stuff and use it. But like, do we have to attach this bullshit to, uh, like, I mean, and Jackie Robinson, a very, like a really important guy. Like, yeah, he, he wasn't just the first black guy to like get signed or anything like that. Right. He, he had to put it like up with a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it was a real, it was a real, uh, and big event. Heck of an athlete, right? Yeah, well, and that's the other thing. Mm-hmm. He's a great athlete too, to boot. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, Jack Robinson, Day, quite a uh, quite a remarkable uh, man. Yeah. So, all right, Gene. That's good. You thought of Ebbets Field then. Yep. Yeah. And never. Uh, then you got the Dodgers trying to take credit for him. He never played in L.A., folks. All right. Stop. Oh. Stop besmirching Jack Robinson. He never played. He's from Pasadena, though, right? Yes, like he first? is. That part I know. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Hey, I I do remember that. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know he didn't play in L.A. Yeah, he retired they moved, when they moved. They moved here 65, in, uh, I believe. 65, I think. Yeah. they or 66. They, yeah, they moved yeah, in the late 50s, and they played at the Coliseum for a couple of years. I think they moved here maybe 58. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. But they, they won. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, right. they everyone pay their taxes and then make a donation to the Jackie Robinson Foundation yep. if you get a refund. Yep, Although sure. I think refunds are tougher to come by this year, right? Uh, if you're middle class, yes. If you're really poor, you get a refund, or really rich, you get a refund. Mm-hmm. I but I guess I'm, middle class is a little yeah, bit more I'm, difficult. I'm, if nothing, middle class. I used to be a different class, but I've been in all three classes, I believe. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, we're going to go. I spent most of my time in probably in the middle class and lower. But I spent a couple 
uh, a long time. The salad years, quite literally, the salad yeah, years. Cause yeah, yeah. In, in the upper, what's the upper echelon considered? What do you have to uh, Well, Gene, you probably weren't there. <laughs> I don't think oh, you're in the upper upper not echelon, the upper, not the upper, billionaires. No, not there. No, that's a whole other not. stratosphere. All right, yeah. well, Gene, but you yeah. know, you know who may be up there quick? Uh, Russell. You just look at the screen. Oh, did he? Russell did he Wilson. Sign? Well, well, I didn't even know that. Late, well, I think maybe his uh, contract was in the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral, so uh, we, ne oh. we ne may not know about that. But no, as of right now, as I understand it, uh, they don't have any deals. Oh, they, so today the deadline's it tonight. It was his deadline. By the way, yeah. why, why throw that on a uh, you know someone? Hey, sign you know, give me a contract by uh, tax day. Hey, I got other stuff to do, man. I got I can't worry about your goddamn contract. I'm trying right. to get my shit out. And I don't, trying to make it they, to the post office. Can't buddy. they just franchise him a couple of years and just forget about it? Uh, yeah, I suppose, but it would probably be like uh, no, thirty whatever. million dollars. Like, uh, who cares? Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, and then people are pretty much saying that uh, Russell Wilson wants out. Yeah. Of Seattle, so uh, I mean that's definitely an option, but uh, he could just Why not even show leave? up. Seattle is such a great city. I've never been there. I've been in the airport for about twenty minutes, but. Uh, it seems like a great city, and the fans are so great. Stay put, Russell Wilson. I oh, think. Well, uh, uh, he maybe he sees the writing on the where wall. Where does he want to go? That defense is not coming back, and uh, Pete Carroll is on his last legs. Oh, he's on. So Carroll people saying home. he uh, wants to go to New York, uh, be the Giants uh, mm -hmm. quarterback, and uh, you know become one of those media moguls uh, that he seems destined to uh, want to do. I don't know if you can do that in Seattle. So. Uh, and, uh, yeah, someone uh, did tweet out that uh, Russell Wilson turned down uh, the Seahawks offer that they gave him mm. because uh, it was one of these bullshit uh, backloaded contracts Still just to say that he was the most uh, paid, highest paid I, quarterback. I, if you're not short-sighted, I would be backloaded. I'm backloaded for something, and I'm fine with it. I'm backloaded for a while. Yep. I'm really backloaded. <laughs> so I, Gene, I uh, eat more fiber, Okay. <laughs> But I have to assume it's I'm, I'm going to trust that I'm going to live <laughs> into my 90s. All right, listen. So uh, Russell really... Wilson did some amazing things as a uh, Milwaukee Badger, but uh, uh, yeah, this guy, this guy's just a douchebag, right? Wait, I mean, uh, I know. everyone knows I, he's a douchebag. I thought I thought he was going to be great. Really, try he is great. But I don't think he, I don't think he cares about Wisconsin. I think he just thought Wisconsin was uh, one yeah. more step up to uh, him being uh, hey, the you know, Jack got Welsh. Him to Seattle, you're right. Yeah, how could he not start at NC State? Yeah. Or well, left? why why did he get suspended or something like that? No, he, he, left, he didn't like the coach. He graduated, he, then he left. Yeah. Well, I he didn't know. get playing time, right? So yeah, he, uh, something like that. He, he wanted to play uh, that other guy who's been a crappy pro, the other quarterback. I don't know his name, but uh, Ryan Leaf. You, it was on par Junior? with him. He's still yeah. in the league, one of those guys. All right. Yeah. All right, well, Russell Wilson. Well, I did to... see him playing the Rose Bowl, though, so. And he right. lost. A little, so. little different speed. Game's yeah. a little different speed. Uh, amen. All right, and then, Gene, uh, Nick Boza, who was uh, widely considered uh, to be the number one draft pick uh, this year from Ohio, the Ohio State. And, uh, Gene, you know, Gene uh, yes. is uh, focused on baseball when he does not laugh at uh, the <laughs> Ohio State joke. No, I, I'm going to go to Columbus. I'm going to Ann Arbor this year, the Michigan. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm going to go to Ann Arbor, or I'm going to go to Columbus, I think, in two years. Okay, yeah, the Ohio State, very entitled. What, what, what were well, you Well, Nick saying? Boza. Oh, how's he doing? He, uh, well, he's been busy yeah. on his phone deleting tweets. Mm. Tweets uh, that oh, have the really? um, hashtag mega. Man, I you are way very, more on it than I am. Make That's America sure. great again. He is. Uh, he's a big fan of Donald Trump. Gene. Well, you know he is our president. And he thought that. Uh, and Nick Bolza is an idiot. So uh, he thought uh, maybe he should delete some tweets because uh, he wants he may get drafted by like San Francisco. Wow. And also he has like a lot of tweets uh, mocking uh, the. The appearance of black athletes. Not a whole lot of white athletes he's mocking. A lot of black athletes oh, really? that he mocks. Yes. Hey, did you read? Are, are they? But he's gotten rid of them. You, you deleted once, them. Once you start deleting them, though, then people, they've had them somewhere. And then they come back to bite you. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, listen, let's not, uh, you know, I, I don't think we should hold someone's tweets, uh, you know, when they're especially a dumb kid. Like, especially yeah. like a dumb 20-year-old or a teenager. Yeah. Uh, like Mike, uh, like Nick Bosa. But on the other hand, he's a Buckeye. Oh. So uh, I, I don't think he should be drafted. I think he should be suspended. Wow. Uh, by the way, Gene, wh uh -oh. what's worse? 
you know, t- <laughs> tweeting about Donald Trump or uh, kicking in a girl in a hotel. How? How? Oh my gosh! I can't defend you anymore. I don't know. I just can't defend you anymore. Hey, right. what about the Bucks though? They're awesome. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost. A, Gene, I forgot to put the Bucks even in well, the news I cycle. I saw that. And that's I how sad. Say, Milwaukee, I hope they win the NBA title. That's, I'm all in on the. That's Bucks. how boring uh, these NBA no, uh, playoffs no, are. This but is yes, be exciting when the Bucks. The win Bucks the title. destroyed. They have a uh, The Pistons they, and listen, uh, Detroit. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, Larry Brown, mm. he's not walking through that door. Wow. Well, ben he, Wallace. Yeah. He ain't walking through that door. Rip Hamilton. Right. He ain't walking through that door. And guess what? what? Cha- Chauncey Billups. Yeah. He ain't walking, and guess what? If they do, they're going to be old and great. I see. No help. So, uh, sorry, sorry, Detroit. The Saints, uh, 2002. Yeah. And, and that the Bucks, what they, what they do, they pulled out Lou Alcindor, Lou Alcindor, who that was his name when he played for the Bucks. He yeah. was at the game. He was at their oh, game. Oh, was he? Wearing a Bucks. Uh, Probably hoodie. been the first time he's been back in Wisconsin I, since I, I, uh, I they traded him. Right, exactly. Well, why would they trade him? So that's they traded him in the seventies. Yeah, so I guess he was scaring the locals when he was trying to get service at the oh. uh, like actually fine mm-hmm. restaurants. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Gene. So destroying the uh, what do you call it? Fabric the of Pistons. Society? Uh, the Pistons. Oh, the so. Pistons. Yeah. Yeah, people are pretty much. Yeah, they I, look like they're dying. I'm telling you, Milwaukee's excited. This is really cool. I'm. I like the Bucks more than the Bulls right now. I'll tell you that. Right are now. the Bulls in the playoffs? Uh, no, they they had the fourth worst record in the NBA. So yeah. Cool. All right. So it is exciting that the Bucks. Yeah, the, the Bucks are looking really Their good. Their fans are great. That new stadium looks cool. If they didn't so. have the uh, best player Giannis, Gian, yeah. Giannis, I, I, Giannis? They, the the NBA would somehow find a way to screw them. Yeah. Uh, out of getting to the playoffs, just like that one year when Allen Iverson was the MVP. I'm, just, I'm hopeful. Yeah. But uh, thank God we have such a uh, amazing player. And uh, everyone like, loves him. And 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 yeah. maybe he'll stay. Maybe he'll stay in Milwaukee. That would be great. Uh, b- back up that Brinks truck. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and uh, they'll probably end up playing the Warriors, right? So. Oh yeah. Now what's they, up with Blake Griffin? They got is three Blake more series is, to go? Is, 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 got, is Blake Griffin out of the playoffs? Like I don't what know, happened? He to didn't him? play in the first game. Yeah. There. I. We have yeah, between us. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. We do a sports podcast. <laughs> I don't, he was. He didn't play in game. Can someone? One. Can someone uh, tell yeah, us? Something was wrong. Can with someone write in? Something was wrong with that. All right, we're talking about Nick Bolza. Should we talk about Nick Bolza instead? No. Instead of the NBA oh, playoffs? Yeah. We have uh, Nick Bolza has a what, section what on this goddamn Favre menu. Do? Oh, yeah, we'll go back. Oh, what happened here? I didn't. Oh, uh, yeah, you were going I to skip it. No, oh, you know what? I forgot to. Uh, oops. I think, oh. I, I think I forgot to. Uh, all right, well, let's go back to Favre here. Yeah. You covered uh, Nick Bolza pretty well. I had a picture of uh, Brett Favre, but uh, maybe not. Okay. What's he up to? On, all right, well, uh, Brett Favre. All right, I don't have a picture for Nick, Brett Favre. On a is that the nope. conference? What's that? Is that the conference? You have a picture of Russell Wilson. Uh no, I just this is just uh Yeah, why don't you put that picture right, of there. the cathedral? Put, <laughs> yeah. Here's Nick Bosa. All right, well you, uh Brett Favre Jane uh, we were talking last week about Nick Bosa up there. I know I I I don't know what happened to the Brett Favre uh, oh, okay. slide, so I'm sorry about all that. Right. All, all right, right, so we can move on. All yeah. right, so, uh, yeah, Brett Favre. Uh, well, Gene, we were talking last week about the uh, Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy story. Yes. About their relationship right. um, on the Yes Men story, wherever the story was from. I can't remember. And, uh, well, Gene, uh, you know whose opinion? Uh, who decided to uh, weigh in on the story? I do not know. Oh, who uh, it's Brett Favre, Gene. Oh, yes, I do know that. Brett I Favre. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, How's he doing? He, he was what quoted say? saying, I will say this. Well, thanks, Brett. I, I will yeah. say this as well. One of the things that I agree on in that article that really should have they really should have won more. Favre said for whatever reason yeah. they didn't. They were that good and they had the best player in the game. I just felt like they should have won more. That's I know. Okay, I'll I'll give you your space because well, I know what you're gonna say. Well, I'll tell you what, Brett. Yes, exactly. Uh, how would you? Uh, yeah. How would you take? A, how would you pop a Percocet? <laughs> and you stay out of this one, <laughs> all right? Because you you did everything you could to right. sabotage Aaron Rodgers' career. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, how about we put that up there? And also, they the Packers should have won a second Super Bowl under Favre. Yeah, right. That's and uh, you were doing whirly durlies. Uh, yeah, that know. game against the Broncos, the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah Favre, favorite. you played like shit, by the way. Yeah. on that game. So nice uh, that 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 fourth down throw. 
He threw it like to someone's like knees or something like that. Boy, it's amazing. The Packers won two Super Bowls, but they really could have won a bunch. Yeah. Well, yeah. Brett Favre was the best player for like five years. You know? Yeah, and Aaron Rodgers, oh, of course. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then Gene. Uh, you let him have it though. Yep. I hope he's. Hey, I hope he's listening. Yeah. This ain't this ain't the uh, kill. Brett. This ain't the killing Mississippi sports show. <laughs> All right, well, Gene, we're going to end it. dog in his truck. We're going to end Yeah, in his Wranglers. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Gene. Yeah. Brett, not everything is a Wrangler commercial, Gene. By the way, Gene, I would like to hear a lot of uh, directors that did all those Wrangler commercials. Yeah. Uh, let's hear some Brett Favre stories, huh? Uh, I'm sure he's a team player. I'm sure he didn't pull any uh, prima donna shit. Right. On stage. Mm. You know? Yes. All right, Gene, we're going to end it with uh, Jay Cutler. I see. That show, I don't watch, but... I've heard clips of it, and he is funny. Don't you think? You think well, Gene, you can look at that picture uh, that yeah. we got of, of, of Jay Cutler. I, I'm sure he's a pretty fun guy just to hang out with her and grab beers with her or whatever, you know? And he, uh, what, doesn't he, like, just do funny reactions whenever these crazy chicks yeah. ask them, like, goes, stuff? Right, exactly. They're, he's surrounded by women, and he doesn't seem happy with it, <laughs> I guess. I, I can relate. Yeah. I can relate. And, uh, well, Gene, uh, Kristen Cavallari. Uh, says that Jay uh, unclogged her milk ducts. I heard that. By suck, quote unquote, oh. sucking harder than he's ever sucked. Hmm. I don't know, Gina. I've seen a lot of Bears games. <laughs> so I, I might uh, have to have contention with that statement. <laughs> he had some rough years. He was good, too. They were excited when it, he came there. That, that's the thing, though. These chicks' uh, milk ducks, get, they, I, get, they I, get stuck. They get plugged. That was the first time I've heard something like that. And what about the baby? The baby can't do mm, that? Doesn't that? Yeah. Tell me the baby uh, doesn't I, have the sucking power? I've never gone through Jay that. Cutler? I've never, been, I've never watched a person breast. Have you ever seen? No, I haven't. Well, have it. I seen something? Yeah. Have you ever seen a baby being breastfed well, before? Well, kind of. But then you look away after a while, don't you? Well, Gene, no, Gene, you're furiously masturbating when you tie one. Oh, them. I see. No, I'm just joking. Furiously? <laughs> furiously. Fast and the Furious? Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Uh, no. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hey, just another. He, he, he's having a good life, huh? Why yeah. would he want to go right, back and right. play? And he got, didn't he get like $15 million or $20 million uh, to play like six games for the he, Dolphins or something? Oh, my gosh. He's made a lot of money for as little as he's ever done in his career. Yes, he's made a lot of money. Well, good well, job. Hey, man. you know, he had a face uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, forever. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why he got thrown. People didn't like him in Denver. He was, uh, you know, so. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, Gene, yes. another tumultuous Wow. Show. You didn't pull any punches, literally. Literally or figuratively. No, one, no one's off bounds, Gene. Yeah. In the Midwest sports and show. And all our thoughts with anyone. Boy, the Cathedral and then uh, everyone, uh, Jack and Rob, and then all our friends in the Midwest. Boy, oh boy, our friends, everybody, Linda and Cheryl and Al. It's rough. Yeah. We have so many great friends. I do. I'm very blessed. So thank you all. <laughs> Gene's getting choked And up. my mom, my mom, my mom. And Lowell, who I spent uh, this weekend with, Lowell is recovering from his four broken ribs. They both, Jesus. My mom and Lowell. Did you guys go to, uh, uh, did you pay for his ticket uh, to the show? Yes, I did. I did. Okay, he all right, there you me. go. Um, yeah, he, uh, oh, and then we, I took him to, uh, but they're both using canes, so they're they're both kind of hobbling around. All right, well, Gene, that's, uh, that's anyway, get your calcium. Yeah, keep you know it know up, mean? both. We got to get ready for football season because I'm taking them to the Iowa Rutgers game in September. All right, there you go. The, yeah. the biggest moment in oh, anyone's life. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, for Gene Steichen. Yes. Uh, let me oh, see. Oh, goodbye, uh, everybody. My name is uh, Chris Stotts, and uh, it's been the Midwest Sports Show. We will see you guys next week. Goodbye.